Let's create a vendor credit. A vendor credit is what you will use when you return something to a vendor and they're going to give you credit for it to pay toward future purchases. Contractors frequently use vendor credits because they enter, enter bills and then perhaps they return something so they get a vendor credit that they'll take off of paying one of the bills that they owe. So to enter a vendor credit, we go to the plus new and choose vendor credit. Choose the vendor and you'll want to choose the same category or the same item details from your products and services list of what you purchased in the first place that you are now returning. So let's suppose that from Books by Bessie, I returned something that I had categorized as office expenses when I purchased it. I say how much the return is worth. I can also add a customer if I'm returning it and want to have that return show on the customer profit and loss or customer job expenses. I can add any description that I would like to add. And I also can add any memos here and any attachments here. And save and close. When I'm ready to pay my bills, I can apply the vendor credit. So if I go to the plus new and choose pay bills, it is loading. It's taking a couple of minutes to load. Sometimes this does happen with QuickBooks Online, which is one of the complaints people have about QuickBooks Online is waiting for screens to load. So we can see we have our original bill from Books by Bessie of $75. If I click in here and use the $20 credit available, once I clicked into that screen, it did show that there was a $20 available credit. I put this in the Credit Applied column and then tab over and I'm not going to pay anything on this or I could pay the additional $55. If I'm not paying anything, I simply delete that. And the total up here that would be drafting out of my checking account is zero. Or I can say, yes, I'm going to pay the additional remaining balance and go ahead and save and close. You may remember from earlier sessions that this schedule payments online is if you are subscribed to bill.com. Otherwise, you want to save and print or save and close. You also can check mark here to queue this up to print later. For now, I'm just going to say save and close. If your handwriting checks, you would choose save and close. And that's how you apply vendor credits.